Hello everyone, this is CypherDag, and today hopefully you will see everything on my screen and we're going to go over a few different things. I use two different programs to record depending on what it is that I'm recording. Now, first off, Action, uh, which I will leave the information in the description, and Fraps, which I will also leave in the description, are within the same price point but do completely different things. Um, whereas I, with, um, with Action, can view the, the whole desktop or a portion of the desktop or play in games. Fraps can only play in games or record movies, um, apparently, and do screenshots. Where this can do uh, live streaming, I believe this can as well. This can also do audio only. Uh, it can do benchmarking and as well take screenshots. Um, let me go ahead and tell you why I own both of them because that's one main big screen, uh, big re thing that we can go over, and that is because Action is the first program that I had. And if you listen to some of my older videos, you'll know that, especially with Space Engineers, when you get to the really big builds that the audio just is not holding up. Now the quality of um, action is much better as far as vi uh, video goes, but it seems to eat up more of the computer as it's recording. And so what it does is it actually makes the audio fluctuate and you can't, it doesn't work well at all. So what I ended up doing is getting fraps for whenever I'm playing those games that have really bulky um, sound to them and um, that is pretty much the main reason that I bought Fraps is because while I use this um, uh, just to give you a small background on myself I am a computer technician and what I do sometimes for the job that I do is if there is something new that we are bringing to the table that we require all of our associates to do then I will do a tutorial on how to do whatever it is that we're doing. If we are requiring everybody to move from uh, one product to another product, how to do that in the uh, most simplest of terms as possible. And this program works the best for that. I, I have not found another program that does what I need it to do and to have it at that 720 or um, 1080p 60 frame a second quality. Now that said, for some reason, in Fraps, um, by the way, let's just start at the beginning. Um, you can have Fraps minimized from the start, uh, Fraps windows always on top, uh, Fraps uh, when, uh, when windows starts, and so on. I don't have any of those chosen. I'm using the most current version that I have at the time, which is 3.5.99, and here's the build as well. Um, that probably has my information in it, so I'm probably going to remove that as being visible um, under the registration details. Under Fraps, um, under this section, this tells where this little icon is going to be inside of your game. Um, one other thing that I do wish that um, that Fraps had, that Action has, is it, as you can see it has a timer. And in game, it puts that timer up in the corner for you. So if you're someone who is sticking to a 30 minute schedule, especially for games like EverQuest or any games along those lines, um, it helps tremendously. With Fraps, I have to set my phone up to set an alarm and then I have to make sure that it's silent so that it doesn't interfere with the recording. So there's that. But otherwise, uh, you can choose where you want it to go. Uh, you can actually change where you want it to be or if you want it to be on or off by pressing F12. Um, and you can change that if you wish. Um, also, benchmarking if you want to do that. I really don't mess with that at all movies. I save all my movies to see Fraps uh, movies, but I'm going to be changing that because I now have a two terabyte external hard drive and I'm going to start saving all my recordings there because 
they take up a lot of memory. So um, here you can see that you can set up your your caption, um, the button that you're going to use to caption, which I use the negative um, on the number pad because it's the easiest for me to not hit any of those buttons whenever I'm recording. Um, also, I choose the frames per second, which I am going to try to get to 60 frames per second if I can, but I do not know if my computer can handle it at the moment. I am going to be buying a new one soon once I get the income tax and have some other money saved because I do have some things that I wish to, to do <laughs> as far as that goes. Also gives all this information, the kind of microphone you're using, which I use a Blue Yeti and it seems to be the best for me. Uh, though I am still playing around with it to get the best optimal audio, I do need a new desk because mine's too small. Uh, but I do have a boon already um, purchased so that I can set that up and um, and Maybe get a little bit better quality that way right now The way that I reduce vibration is by having it set on a stack of CDs Cases that are empty and that seems to reduce the vibration by a good amount so <laughs> Uh, and this is the rest of the information. There may be some options that need to be set up that I don't use. I don't know them, so I don't know how to, um, don't know what to choose or not. But for me, this is all working right now. I'm not having any lag in my video or audio, and everything is coming through clear. So let's talk about this one now. Uh, let's go to its options. Um, you have an, uh, an icon for every single. Uh, one of these up here plus your general settings um, if you want to start that application minimize and so all of that uh, check for updates application um, window and all of that then you have your actual recording of course you want your quality to be high and all of this though I wish that it would give a, a specific um, uh, setting there but if you want to make sure you can set your video settings here um, so but you want your quality high and this is ends up probably what reduces the um, the quality of um, space engineers as you get more in depth in your build it starts to make the audio lag and that could be because the video is running too hard but um, then you have your webcam. If you want to have it set up as a webcam, uh, do uh, webcam plus um, games. And this is something that I'll ease into once I get my new computer. I will probably start using this program more. Next is the microphone. Again, the Yeti. And then also XSplit is uh, what I use for um, uh, streaming. But I may change to something else. Um, but either way, uh, this is how I have it set up right now. This I have set to oh, always be in that upper corner and this way again I can see what time I have left. Also you can export directly to locations if you wish and then uh, lastly you have your keyboard settings. So all in all they both give everything that you want out of a video recording software. The uh, the thing is that Fraps is a little bit simpler, though it takes up a lot of hard drive. It does make sure that both the audio and the video quality are coming in nice and smooth. But if I was to rate both of them as to what I would use them for, I would say that action I would use for your better quality games, like say um, the newest game that's coming out today, which is um, Dying Light which has a lot of graphical detail this is where you'd want to go if you have the computer to support it if you don't then you would go with fraps which i have set up at a lower setting so that i can be able to record both and that is a game that i am buying so uh, look for videos on that soon so that's everything i have on these two products um, i use this a lot for everquest and Space Engineers and Kinshi, and I use this a lot more for my tutorials. The next tutorial that I'll be doing will be on any graphics that I use for my uh, for my videos, including uh, the one that I will use for this right here. 
um, and so on. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helped out. And they are both in the same price range, so um, it's not really too expensive. Um, it's probably around $45, uh, 30 to, 39 to $45 a piece. Anyway, talk to you later. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out. <laughs>